Hi everyone, this is Sam for BoardAtWork.com and today we're taking a look at the F2A85XM-HD3 from Gigabytes. This is one of Gigabytes, um, you know, socket FM2 motherboards and if you know the FM2 sockets it is compatible with the A series of AMD APUs. Yes, that's right, AMD APUs. This is an AMD board. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that this motherboard is going to be used in our HTPC build. So uh, I'll explain to you exactly why we made the choice of this motherboard over other motherboards. Now, right off the bat, we have externally we have four. Um, USB ports, which you can see one, two, three, four, two USB 3.0 ports, one Ethernet, one D sub, we have one Dual Link DVI, and one HDMI. So, right off the bat, you can connect up to three screens on this motherboard HD audio, PS2 um, connection for your keyboard slash mouse. And that's about it for external connections. Now, internally, we have two more USB, I'll bring that over here, two more USB 2.0 and one more USB 3.0 connections, bringing the total up to about six USB 2.0s and three USB 3.0 connectors. Okay, now, memory-wise, we have, DDR3, two slots for DDR3 memory at 1.5 volts, um, maxing out at 64 gigs. So you have to keep that in mind. This maxes out at 64 gigs. Power connections, we have your regular 24 pin and your eight pin CPU power. Now, the CPU on here is gonna be an APU, or should I say the processor on here is gonna be an APU. That's basically gonna give us up to the 7,000, uh, basically the HD 7000 line of AMD graphics, which I think is an accept acceptable baseline for, you know, more than acceptable, I should say, baseline for our graphics need on this HTPC. Now, overall, we're gonna keep going through the, uh, a walkthrough on the board, I should say. We have two PCIe slots here. One of these slots is an X4 and the other is an X16. We have a PCIe connection and we have a PCIe X1 connection and um, all your PCIe connections are gonna be at PCIe 2.0. So these board, this board is, very, uh, is basically up to date. Now, for your hard drives, I believe you have six or, oh, I'm sorry, my correction, eight SAT, um, SATA connections. So that's one here. So you have, I'll bring that up over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you have eight connections for hard drives. So you can basically put as much storage on here as you need. I, I, sh I shouldn't see um, you know, upgradable storage being a problem. I, gu I guess the only limit on that is gonna be the, the, the size of your case. Now, this is a Mini ATX um, board. And we've chosen the Mini ATX board because at, um, combined with the size of the board itself, and the fact that we're using the APU, we're really hoping to, you know, to have as little noise, as little heat generation, um, and you know, and as little of uh, of overall energy footprint as possible. And this board enables us to do that. Now, as we go on and we continue to get more components for the build, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to showcase each component before installation. Now, once again, this. It's been the Gigabit F2A85XM-HD3 that Gigabit has been, you know, gracious enough to, um, you know, to sponsor our build with. Well, I'll keep you guys up to date in the build. Once again, this has been Sam at BorderWork.com. Enjoy your entertainment.